Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add text titles to a video clip using Magic's Movie Edit Pro. So the first thing we'll do is open up our web browser and we're going to download a few video clips. I'll put links to these in the YouTube description. So we can just open up this folder and we'll download these videos. So we've got this one of Big Ben. So we'll download that at 1920 by 1080. And then we've got another one here. We're just going to use two video clips. This one's of the London Eye. And we'll download that at 1920 by 1080 as well. So let's just drag these into the folder. And I'll show you how to add some basic titles using Magic's Movie Edit Pro. So let's load up the software. And we'll open up this folder. We'll just create a basic video clip uh, at 1920 by 25 frames a second. And Magic's will adjust it accordingly. So let's drag in the Big Ben. And it's running at 30 frames. So let's drag that into there. And then we probably want to add a transition between these. So let's see, this is like 15 seconds long. So let's just cut that down. Let's cut it down to something like six seconds around here. So we just click it and cut it so it's not too long. So we've got Big Ben here. And then we've got the London Eye as well. So this is the London Eye. And we'll do a little cut on this as well, I guess. So let's cut it down to around here. Cut it. So normally we would want to add a transition. So I'll quickly show you how to add a transition between these video clips. You can see there's a gap separating them at the moment. So you've got Big Ben here and London Eye. So let's just drag those video clips so they overlap like this. So if I were to zoom in at this point, you'll see that there's a transition now. So if I click here and click play, you'll see it will transition between them like this. It's pretty fast, so we can just drag that across a bit further and then the transition will be slower. We can go up to the templates here as well and you can pick on the shape let's say something like um, this, this circle from left, drag that to that same transition and then you'll get a different type of fade effect, right? Fading across to the side. So that's just a basic transition thing. But let's add some titles. So we want Big Ben written here, something like that. So there's a quite a few different ways. You can do like font basic and you can just drag one of these basic fonts down here and then you'll get the text here and then you can just type in Big Ben and then that text will display for that duration, right? You can see it here, and then you can click on it, and you can drag it to a different position, somewhere like up here maybe, and you can change the font colors, and you can do all that good stuff and change the font style, simple stuff. Uh, we can change it to something like this, and then we can click and maybe position it near the Big Ben, and then you've got a basic title there, and then you can click on that title and drag the handles in from the side, like this, and then the title will fade in and maybe we'll drag it a bit further in so you see the big bend and the title will fade in we'll play for a little while and then fade out there's other transitions as well that are animated so let's delete that one and we'll look at something a little bit more interesting so down here you've got movement basic this this is what i use quite often i'll use the jump in one or jump out so jump in we'll drag that uh, let's drag that down to here as well so now we've got this text that's going to jump in and we'll write in here big let's do something like big uh, Ben London so we'll write the text big Ben London we'll click play and now that text will uh, fade in and then fade out or zoom in and zoom out like this and it's done all the animation sequences all the keyframes already been done for you so you can just double click on this and then you can double click here select this text here you can change it to a different color let's make it black it's on like quite a light background um you don't really play around with the font size because it's going to zoom in and zoom back out again so i don't really play around with that but you can play around with the fonts in here you can change them select the text and then you can change the font in here right should be able to let's see if it will update yeah so let's click on that and then you can change the font. So click on this text here, and then inside here, you can pick a different font, whichever one you like. Let's choose this font here. Let's give that another go. So now it will fade in, or zoom in, and then zoom back out afterwards. So then you can just select this, this actual um, uh, text animation, click on it, copy it, move your cursor to over here somewhere, click Control V to paste, and then all you do is move your mouse cursor to this sort of point, the timeline cursor, double click here and then we can change it from Big Ben to 
London, this is actually called the London Eye, right? London, London Eye. Then just click outside and that transition is already done for you. So everything's pretty much been pre-built from the first one. And then onto this one here, we could double click on this and then change it to a white color because it's on quite a dark background. Let's see what that looks like now. Let's just accept that. And now it's on a white color and this one's on a black one. So that's how you add animated um, text titles and static ones as well. You can easily click on these titles, go back to the effects tab here. Sorry, the templates here. Click on movement and you can pick something else, right? So you can just click this, drag and drop it onto this one, click play. And now it's gonna do a different effect. You can see like it's moving up from the side here. Let's drag uh, this one across and drag it on top and then it will replace the original effect. So now you can see it slides in from the side and it will slide out. All right, really easy to do. It just adds a little bit more to your video content. You can play around with that. It's really useful for like YouTube videos. When you do YouTube videos, you want to create, create some really quick titles, something very simple. You can just drag them, drop them into here. Once the formatting is done, you can play around with the titles and you can do all sorts of different ones. And there's lots to choose from here, so you're not limited. And then you've got all these different types here. So you can go and experiment with them. I'll leave you to do that. That's the end of this tutorial, just explaining how to add these text titles to your video content. And we even looked at transitions here as well. Okay, we'll minimize this, close this down. And I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.